Good morning, everyone. It's time once again for our weekly visit with Dan Yegi from Ag Performance of Buffalo Center in Ormsby. Good morning, Dan. Rice, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Dan? Good. Good, good, good. Well, I tell you what, uh, uh, for the most part here, harvest is pretty much completed here around uh, the Buffalo Center area and points around Buffalo Center. And uh, I, I've heard all kinds of different yields for both corn and soybeans. I don't know. Uh, I, I, and I think uh, you and I talked about this one other time, and I think you've heard a whole bunch of different yields as well, haven't you? I, I think you're exactly right. There's rural variability. I think, first of all, it's farms in that. I think on the bean side, we were a little bit down from where we were last year. I would say, you know, five to 10 bushel. And there's those farms, corn and corn, that were really good, you know, in the 70s or so. But I think the 50s and 60s, touching the 70s, hit a lot of the fields. Corn was off the charts, so. though. Um, we had some of the best corn fields, I think, out there. I don't know where it came from. But I think the corn was exceptional that we had. But again, Rice, you don't have to go very far away. You go to the east, closer to Northwood and that, the yields tremendously fall off north up into Minnesota. Uh, as you go west, they're still very good uh, on that part. And then it's real variable to the south. So again, where we live, Rice, God, we're lucky. That is for sure. And you know... Who, who would ever think within 60 miles either direction of Buffalo Center and how how the yields have changed as much as they have, especially this year? Well, I think all the tiling we do, uh, everybody's doing a better job, of course, with fertility. They're understanding it better probably in the last 5, 10 years than we ever have. You know, um, I've always mentioned sulfur, and I think that's really huge, if anything, the sulfur side. And then our hybrids, you know, our hybrids and varieties have gotten way better. Let's talk about the 2024 growing season for a second here, Dan. Lots of questions, lots of variables here. And uh, price-wise, especially here, Dan, what are you hearing about prices for the upcoming uh, for the upcoming growing season? Well, I think a lot of guys haven't sold their crop, or if they have sold it, uh, they've done a great job, but... Out of the field, they're either storing it in their bins or storing it in the elevator, ethanol plant, whatever. Um, guys are concerned. You know, prices have really dropped. We're barely at five bucks or a little below. And beans, what are they, 12? A little bit less. Yep. You know, we had great yields, I agree. But the flow thing and putting together next year's cash flows don't look good. Guys have to really study, okay, what am I going to cut if I'm going to cut? And that's questionable. It just doesn't look real good right now. But I still think with this world, how crazy it is and what's going on, that's what screwed up some things. If we just sit still, I think some of these prices are going to come back. I wouldn't say tremendously, but I think they're going to get better. I really do. Guys got to pay attention on the cash flow of what to do. But that's farming, too. Everything goes up and down over the years. You have to save in the great years to get debt paid off or buying the right things. And when things are tough, uh, you just can't buy those things. And, and that's kind of where we're at right now. I don't think anybody's really, really upset, I mean, on that side. But their concerns. I can see things are tight. They don't know really know what they're going to do this year. But they know they got to pay attention. All right, if anyone has any questions or comments about anything you and I talk about on a weekly basis here, Dan, how'd they get a hold of you? Call us at Ag Performance at 641-562-2370, Rice. 641-562-2370. If I have it memorized, everyone should have it memorized, right? Yep, they should. All right, well, Dan, have a great week, and we'll talk again next week. Thanks, Rice. All right.